what they're basically saying, Rita Ree, that's my nickname for it. I don't want y'all sitting here talking about calling her Rita Ree. That's my nickname for it. I created this nickname a long time ago. What they're largely saying is that people are organizing uh, these theft rings, going into the stores, stealing stuff, going online, creating e-commerce stores and businesses, or going to eBay or whatever like that, and selling the stuff online. And now these stores are starting to get aggressive. They're getting their lobbyists together, and they're saying that, yo, we need to get stores, and we need to get policies, and we need to get a lot of stuff together because just having somebody patrolling a store and they can't even touch you without getting sued is not enough. They create these online e-commerce stores and they selling our stuff back to people at 50% of the price and they running up the, the price that we got to charge in these stores. And Walgreens is tied, boss. Walgreens is tied, boss. Ben Jefferson says, I look forward to the future call, my brother. I'm looking forward to talking to you too, my friend. Walgreens is tied, boss. Walgreens said, y'all going to have to stop stealing. You know that it's a lot of different cities such as San Francisco that's taken um, some really, really liberal policies to heart. And I want y'all to also vote in the poll, right? I put in the poll that um, would you or have you invested in GameStop? 26% uh, said, yes, I'm a gambler. And 74% uh, says, nah, I'm straight. Now, I didn't think that the number would be as high as 26%. One fourth of y'all investing in GameStop. So we don't have that conversation. But Walgreens executives say the drugstore chain is losing about 50% more money due to loss and theft than it did in the prior year in 2020. That's crazy. 50% more money due to loss and theft, meaning that y'all are, what do you call that, a kleptomaniac? There's a lot of kleptomaniacs out here in the streets, out here in the streets stealing. So let me explore this this uh, article with you guys. Walgreens is saying that um, executives are saying that the drug drugstore is losing about 50 percent more money due to loss and theft than it did uh, in the year prior. OK, um, Walgreens lost more income to theft and damaged items in 2021 than it did in 2020 and is, is absorbing a 52 increase in shrink. Do y'all know what shrink is? I've worked in retail. So shrink is basically the loss that comes along with product either being removed or is stolen or um, it might be damaged. So they have to throw it off. But shrink shrink and in retail stores, there's a very, especially in grocery stores specifically with food, but in retail stores, a lot of times there's very, very, very thin margins behind what it is that they're selling. And as a matter of fact, one of the reasons why they even have grocery stores inside of the Walmarts is not so that they can sell more food, but it's to incentivize you to come in and be able to browse and home goods and electronics and all of this other type of stuff where they can hopefully sell you on buying other things so that they can increase the profit margin. Grocery for a lot of these stores is not where the move is, but they need to do it in order to generate more traffic. We call this loss leaders, but that's what shrink is. All right. That's according to Walgreens Boots Alliance CFO James uh, Kehoe. On a Janu January 6th call with investors, he said that Walgreens shrink rate or the loss of inventory attributed to theft, fraud and damage. Shout out to all of the scammers is currently about 3.25%. The company shrink rate had been a little over 2% 10 years ago. He said organized crime has played a part in driving up shrink 40 to 50% over the last two years. So y'all like to embrace all of these scammers. Y'all like to say stuff like, oh, man, we don't care. The man has been taken from us for an extended period of time. Oh, that's just the corporate entity or whatever. We don't care about that. But why do you think that inflation is so high? It's not just because wages are going up. It's not just because the value of the dollar just continuously going down because the Fed is printing more money. It's because these companies have to raise prices in order to hopefully make up for the losses that come along from you and your friends deciding to walk in there and pocket some stuff 
and all of these organized crime rings, when they run into Louis Vuitton and all of this other type of stuff, it continuously drives up the prices. They have to account for it. Somebody is going to pay for it. And chances are it's going to be you because this is not just happening at Walgreens. It's happening across the board. I often find it funny, right? And I was thinking about the riots and stuff when I read this article and I was glossing over it a little bit. I was thinking about riots and what happened in 67 in Detroit and what happened with all of the protests just recently last year and stuff like that. And it's always funny to me because people will tear up their own stores in their own neighborhoods and then complain that there's no good options and that they got to drive all the way out to a certain area in order to get something good. Keep that in mind. Let's continue. Um, he said, this is not petty theft. It's not somebody who can't afford to eat tomorrow. There are gangs that actually go in, empty our stores of beauty products, and that's the real issue. Check this part out. Walgreens reported net earnings for continuing operations of $2 billion in the 12 months ending August 31st. Um, the company could have lost $65 million from its net earnings last year because of theft. That means that, and that's probably a light estimate because they don't even truly know if it was theft or it was just 100% something else, right? $65 million in theft for one company. That is insane. And if you don't think that that's continuing to drive up the prices, which often reflect in your pocketbooks as an honest citizen, you are absolutely nuts. It's a part of this article I really want to share with y'all. Check this out. Um, U.S. retailers lost um, $61.7 billion due to theft, according to the National Retail Federation. Retailers said growth of third-party e-commerce stores exacerbated the retail crime. So this is what happened. 20 retailers, including Target, Best Buy, Kroger, have asked Congress to pass legislation to curb illegal business activity by anonymous vendors online. So what are they saying? What are we saying right now? What they're basically saying, Rita Ree, that's my nickname for I don't want y'all sitting here talking about calling her Rita Ree. That's my nickname for I created this nickname a long time ago. What they're largely saying is that people are organizing uh, these theft rings going into the stores, stealing stuff, going online, creating e-commerce stores and businesses or going to eBay or whatever like that and selling the stuff online. And now these stores are starting to get aggressive. They're getting their lobbyists together and they're saying that, yo, we need to get stores and we need to get policies and we need to get a lot of stuff together because just having somebody patrolling a store and they can't even touch you without getting sued is not enough. They creating these online e-commerce stores and they selling our stuff back to people at 50% of the price and they running up the, the price that we got to charge in these stores. What do you think about thieves? I can't stand a thief. I don't like thieves. I can't. I I, I hate thieves. Don't you thieves. start, Aaron. <laughs> don't read a read. We don't do no read a read. This is <laughs> Anton's nickname for it. Yeah, um, I think that that's like probably the one of the lowest levels of like that's, of a human yeah that's pretty He's low a thief yes people because, justify the behavior how though. do you like steal something that somebody else has worked so hard for like people work hard for their money to buy their stuff their cars and all of that stuff and then you just walk up and just take it well see and that's the thing if i don't believe that it's right to be done to me why would i think it's right to be done in any environment including a retailer i don't like thieves around me if i see somebody doing something i'll be like let me get as far away from them as possible I'm one step away from picking up the phone, Freaky Jason, and calling them. I'm not even going to pick up the phone no more. I'm just going to do it on my Apple Watch. Are right, they over there still in aisle three? I can't stand a thief. Oh, I got something on my lip. Oh, mm -hmm. where? Right here? Is it gone? Mm -mm. Clean me up, baby. Yeah. It's something white. Oh, man. I got the white lips? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it online. Let me go get the white lips together. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's good now. Let me make sure that I get my... Vaseline though. See, now you gotta do the show by yourself. Oh, brother. Hi, guys. So, let me get through this article. No, I'm just joking. I'm just gonna sit here and work or look at you guys and imagine that y'all are saying something back. You wanna hear how it down for me, Rita? Mm hmm. 
I just went through the article. I finished it. Already? Yeah. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. Mm-mm. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't believe you. Anton had to get the dry mouth out. Am I good? Honey. This, I don't know what that is. Am I good now? Yeah. I'm looking bad online? No. Are you just saying that to make me feel good? No, you look nice. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to continue with the article. All right, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, not only is the retailer having the merchandise stolen from them, but then somebody is competing with them online by selling the same product for half the price because it's stolen. I didn't even read that line. I just know how the game works. I never even read that line. I just know how the game works. Um, <clears throat> so it really hits retailers from multiple directions. Some have questioned whether retailers were being honest about the scope of retail theft. FBI crime statistics showed that burglary, robbery, robbery, and larceny hit all-time lows in 2020. Well, that's just because y'all was in the house because of the pandemic. Please don't try to skew the numbers. We know what's really happening. Um, Walgreens explanation that is closing five stores due to organized retail theft the store slated to close had fewer than two recorded shoplifting inf- incidents in a month uh average since 2018 so how are you gonna sit there and complain that they close in stores now people is mad that walgreens is closing stores in their neighborhood because they saying that it ain't really exacerbated why wouldn't walgreens want the store to make as much money as possible that makes no sense whatsoever no sense whatsoever. The, the fact of the matter is, is that thieves and criminals don't give a piss. No, they don't. It's always people like us, people that pay the taxes, people that's the concerned citizens, people that actually patronize the businesses with our hard-earned money. Yep, California, that's where it's happening. San Francisco, 